Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric here from the Eric and Street Talk blog. Right, cool. So I want to do a video with you sharing this notion of how to talk to strangers. So to me, this is actually a great, great thing because, you know, it's funny because I think actually Malcolm Gladwell came out with a book titled Talking to Strangers. And I'm like, yo, people haven't discovered the street photography thing, I guess, right? So the basic notion is this. Perhaps we could live a better, more interesting life if we just talk to more strangers. So this is what I think. So if you go back to like the Iliad, there's like this very interesting notion, or even ancient Greek times, where there's something called like xenophilia, which is not xenophobia. Xenophobia is, xeno means foreign, phobia is fear. So xenophobia is that you're just kind of afraid of people who look different from us. So for example, in America, if you've never been to the Middle East, you might be afraid of Middle Eastern people, right? Or, but then there's also this thing called xenophilia, where you have love of the foreign, love of the different. So I guess this is like, you know, people who like to travel and stuff like that. So xenophilia, I think, could be the, the driving factor behind uh, photography, street photography, talking to strangers and whatnot, because I think, okay, so I'll just speak for my own personal experiences. I love to just talk to strangers because Strangers are interesting. Not, not all strangers are interesting, but I've met many strangers who are interesting, and that, that essentially makes my life much more interesting and fun. And also often I get so much wisdom from strangers. So like, I know this one guy named Hassan, he's actually a custodian. And you know, I just like talked to him about philosophy, and he's probably one of the wisest guys I know on the East Coast arguably America, and yo, he's just like a custodian, a janitor, right? Like, he, so it's kind of crazy to think that like, just me starting to randomly talk to him as a stranger, I actually gained a lot from him. So first and foremost, um, the benefit of talking to strangers is you can actually learn a lot of wisdom from strangers. Second thing, I think we just tend to be happier when you just talk to people or strangers, especially in today's crazy antisocial world. Um, the moral is, thou shalt not make eye contact with strangers, thou shalt not interact with strangers. And especially, and this is, this, this is the thing too about technology, because everyone has ear, earbuds in or earplugs. It's kind of crazy because like even the new Bose ones and stuff like that, and I guess the AirPods, whatever, the new AirPods Pros, they literally are like straight up earplugs. And so like for me, it's hard for me to interact or make small talk with a stranger who has those things on. Sometimes I'll ask and then they'll take it out and we'll start having chat. So even my new rule is when I'm at the gym, I know who I really consider legit. People who decide not to work out with headphones. It's kind of interesting. It's like, next time you go to the gym, think about this. Look at the people who work out with headphones and look at the people who don't work out with headphones. I think this is a good way to categorize people. All right, anyways. And so maybe even in coffee shops, this could be an interesting thought experiment. But anyways, so there's a lot of societal and technological shifts which kind of prevent us from talking to strangers. Now, you know, and that, that, that's just the general thing. And this is the one thing I actually like about going to the South or being in the Midwest. More people just kind of talk to each other. And I think it's not because they're like more morally superior or whatever. I think this, the culture is different. And also like, you know, places where, this is also my theory too. If you're in like, you know, living in the middle of Michigan or something or somewhere in the Midwest, you don't see strangers that often, so you might say, hello, how you doing? As a way of protecting yourself by, because you know you see someone you don't know, their friend or foe, so by saying hello, it's kind of making them a little bit less dangerous. So this is my theory, but anyways. So talking to strangers has so many benefits. So you know, in the street photography context, talk to a stranger, and you can chat them up, and afterwards, you can just ask if I can make a portrait of you. And this is actually one tip from the photographer Anders Peterson, which I find hilarious, very interesting, is he, let's say he goes to a bar, he wants to photograph somebody. He'll talk to, so let's say there's, you know, Dolly. So he wants to photograph Dolly, what he actually does is he talks to everyone else in the bar besides Dolly and then you know he'll kind of make a little bit small chat with her and then eventually Dolly's like yo you're not gonna take my photo so that's that's kind of an interesting thing I think I also like you could do this as like you know a pickup artist or whatever too so um,
talking to strangers could help you, you know, make a portrait of them. Even one photo assignment that I have is approach a stranger that you want to photograph and then give them your camera and say, can, I, can you shoot a photo of me? And then, you know, the, the law of uh, reciprocity, then you ask them, yo, can I also photograph you too? And so it's kind of nice because it kind of empowers the, the subject because um, they've photographed you. So it's, it's kind of like a mutual exchange, which I kind of like. So that's also another pro tip. So when it comes to strangers, how shall one talk to strangers? Really, there's no right or wrong way, just kind of... Just kind of ask people like questions that you're interested in and if questions that you don't consider boring. And uh, you know, I kind of get this from Cindy too. Don't ask people about like third party things like politics or economics, blah, blah. Ask them about themselves. Ask them about, you know, like where you're from or what's your life story or what are your passions like, what are your hobbies, blah, blah. And then even asking them about their families, like, yo, do you have kids? And actually this is one thing I've been doing a lot too, cause like, uh, living in Vietnam, one of the most common questions is like, It's like, do you have a kid yet? And then so they say, yeah, and they say, how many kids? And then how old are they and stuff like that. And to me, it's really nice because like even when I'm, you know, in an Uber, let's say, right? I'm paying like 10 bucks for the ride or 20 bucks or something. I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't pay 10 bucks. But then, you know, talking to the driver, I'm like, yo, you have kids? And they're like, yeah, I have two. And they're this and that age. I'm like, oh, cool. What are they into? Then it actually makes me feel better because I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, my dollars are going into this dude who's supporting his family and that's going to help his kids. So indirectly, I'm kind of helping his kids. And, you know, not everyone has kids, but like, I guess if you're, you know, if you got kids, you can relate with other people who have kids. Or like, you know, I like to talk to you, even my friends. Oh yeah, how's your mom doing? Because everyone, everyone loves their moms, right? And so whenever I talk to somebody and I realize they have a mom, I'm like, whoa, we're more similar than dissimilar, <laughs> right? And I, I think that's the secret about humanity, talking to strangers. We are all more similar than dissimilar. And by talking to strangers, that's a way for, hopefully we could change the world.